Our next speaker is Dr. Anil Patil from India. And Dr. Patil will be speaking about efficacy of Sanyukta Upachar Padati on tubal block. Dr. Patil. Sanyukta Upachar Padati, you will see first my qualifications here. Yeah. Basically trained in allopathic medicine, doctor of medicine from Mumbai, but he's been trained in every possible alternative system of medicine in order to combine all of them together and use best possible treatment for every chronic diseases, uh, disease which is untreatable through allopathy. And we have around 50 centers of Vedic cure in around Mumbai in Western Maharashtra, have treated myself more than 1 million patients in last 20 years. So today, why I chose this subject of infertility? Please first slide. Infertility, especially female infertility in India, is a really horrible problem. In Europe and America, you might not understand the gravity of that problem. Because in Asia, or especially in India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, if a female becomes infertile, it's horrible. Her life is horrible. And especially when fallopian tube block-like condition, where there, are no treatment, where there is no treatment available in allopathy. The only way is to go for uh, test tube baby or in, uh, uh, IVF. And IVF is very expensive for in India and Asia. So when I found out that this is the condition, we uh, used Sanyukta Upachar Paddhati, that is holistic and integrated medicine, where combination of Ayurveda, Panchakarma, acupuncture, yoga, and all other systems of medicine were used together to treat this problem, and this study comprises of that. Primary infertility is inability to conceive after one year of unprotected intercourse. Secondary is to conceive who was, who was previously conceived, but later on could not conceive. You can see that around 35% of the problems are related to tubal pathology. In Ayurveda, there are three, three causes, which shows that because of vata, dryness, because of pitta, paka, inflammation, and PID, because of kapha, uh, puya, suppuration, or hydrosulfings, infertility or tuber blockages take place. What are the aims and objectives? Evaluation of efficacy of SUP, holistic and integrated medicine in tubal blockage. To observe the rate of conception or fertilization. To review the details of SUP. Materials and methods. Patients attending the OPD at 25 branches of Vedicure Wellness Clinics across Maharashtra, the Western uh, India, fulfilling the criteria of selection were included in the study. The inclusion uh, selection criteria is shown here. The age between 20 to 40, tubal block with hydrosulfings, tubal block due to chronic PID, pelvic inflammatory disease, tubal block due to chronic abdominal cox, that is tuberculosis infection, unilateral or bilateral tubal block, women having pelvic inflammatory disease, exclusion criteria, not below 20 years, not above 40 years. A malignancy was excluded. Patients having urogenital infection, history of menstrual disorders, endometriosis, and cervical stenosis were excluded. Special investigations. HSG, that is hysterosalphimography, an investigation which can uh, detect tubal block in women. Uh, before and after treatment, that was the investigation. Pap smear to detect cancer. Uh, sonography to rule out pelvic pathology, and hysteroscopy if needed. What is Sanyukta Upachar Paddhati? It includes panchakarma, acupuncture, medicine, transcendental meditation, yoga, all various asanas are shown over here. What were the medicines used? There are various medicines used, our own proprietary products and generic medicines, but they contain bhasmas, Shilajita, Chandana, Kasisa, Gandhaka, Tamalpatra, Nishotar, Kapur, Punarnava. These had anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiseptic, cooling properties, and they maintained the pH of the vagina. What was the treatment protocol? Uttarbasti. 
maybe majority of uh, people may, might not be familiar with this kind of treatment because in panchakarma uttarkar in last two days it was never discussed it is a procedure in the uh, in which women are injected with a specially prepared ayurvedic sterile oil or ghrut transvaginally in case of female infertility the procedure is done before the period of ovulation that is 5th 6th 7th and 8th to 9th day of menses in each cycle for six consecutive cycles in this procedure a sterile ayurvedic oil or ghruta is injected into uterine quality through vagina under all aseptic precautions no anesthesia is required for this procedure this is mostly painless what did the uh, oil contain uh, uh, vedi oil i have uh, written a special name uh, it contains shara taila and kasi sadi taila 5 ml dose for 3 days then falagruta was used for next 2 days according to ayurveda what is avarodha block by vata in fallopian tube block apanavayu vitiation is the reason uttarbasti is ideal local therapy and is to be adopted in tubal block shara and kasisa lekhan remedies and teal oil is having the property to reach minute channels in the body falagruta it it gives rise to nourishment of uterus reduces excess scraping and maintains ciliary movement acupuncture acupuncture uh, is in in details uh, i am not going to go but just see liver sti uh, key stagnation kidney deficiency damp heat and blood stasis these are the areas where acupuncture was working in these cases what was the distribution of cases around 60% were with unilateral tubal block around 40% with bilateral tubal block what are the results the results are unilaterally almost 80% removal and bilaterally almost 60% removal after six consecutive cycles means after six months of treatment the same results are shown over here what is the conclusion i am too used to it <laughs> efficient internal medications intrauterine uttar basti or vedi oil with falagruta acupuncture highly effective in removing the tubal blockage uh, average rate of conception 80% is also useful in various other gynecological disorders and menstrual disorders due to its varied contents it has positive effect on the ovarian and hormonal functions no significant complication is evident in this study finally sub can be adopted for all sorts of problems of infertility as well as reproductive tract disorders references thank you very much thank you very much dr fitzel sounds like you have a, a new and effective treatment for infertility which is a very important issue uh, in asia and around the world